Hey there living jet setters, I'm at Baitri and Zaika restaurant here in Holland's area. Now this restaurant specializes in charts. But you might say what's so special about charts? Well this restaurant does it in a unique way. Follow me, let's go and find out. Well as you can see I'm making my way into the restaurant and there's a lot of chatpata and charts here which is close to my heart. Dil se dil tak. But let's go and find out what's the speciality of this restaurant. So as you can see the interiors of this restaurant are lovely and the speciality of this restaurant is that they actually have something known as a chart thali. So I've never had a chart thali before and I'm, this is going to be my first. So let's wait and I'm really curious to know what's going to be in a chart thali. So we are going to be having this and it's called the street food platter which is available for 49 dirhams. Well it looks good in picture, let's see how it looks in reality. So as we wait for our chart thali, I couldn't help but notice the interiors of this restaurant are so nicely done and very Instagrammable. You even have a nice telephone booth here. But there's no telephone inside. Good evening Mr. Mero. Yeah, your best uh, street food platter. Is wow. Here. Okay, so you can go and enjoy it up and let me know about it. Definitely. Thank you, Mr. Merrill. Now that's a chart thali I'm looking forward to be having. So let me describe you quickly. So you have pani puris, you have some mini samosas, you have like a pizza. You have the Vada Pao, which I am really looking forward to having this. This is like some Sev Puri and some veg rolls and you get some chutney along with it. So let's go for it. So I am going to dig right in and I think I am going to try the Sev Puri first. Well you got to use hands for this. So let's do it the normal way. Well that's a mouthful. Mm. And really a mouthful full of flavor. Now next I'm gonna try which is known as a vada palm. As you can see the vada is mainly a potato patty with some chutney on the bread. And you're gonna have it with the chili. So let's go. It's nice and yummy. The vada is quite crispy and it's really nice and hot. So the vada pao is actually quite famous in Maharashtra along with something known as a missile pao. But right now let's settle for a vada pao. Well the thali looks so pretty that I really don't feel like distorting the artwork. But I'm hungry. So let's go ahead now. This is like a wrap. And remember I've ordered the veg thali, you also get the non-veg uh, chaat thali. So here we go, I think that's the, the wrap comes with paneer in it. Let's try it. Hmm. Very tasty. So the wrap has like some paneer and some onions mixture and it's done really flavorful it packs a mouthful of flavor next up on the thali is the pizza and ooh, look at that cheese ah yummy here we go mm. just delicious now remember, if you cannot finish this thali alone, you can come here with your set of friends and I think one thali should be sufficient for even three or four people. Next up is this mini samosas, which is nice and hot. And I think I'm going to try it with the chutney. Mm. It 
the samosa are done to perfection. Nice and crispy on the outside and the filling is nice and soft and it's really piping hot. And next we have the Pani Puri. Well why is it called Pani Puri is because this is known as the Puri and this is the Pani means water. So what you do is you mix it and bottoms up. Mm. Well now I figured it out. Uh, the red is the sweet chutney or the mixture and that's like the spicy. Well apparently I think you gotta mix it both so I'm gonna try that one now. So I'm gonna mix some of this and then I'm gonna use some of this the sweetened one and here we go. Mm. Well, that was really good. Well, this uh, mixture is made of uh, mint and lots of spices in it, and it's really good for health. Mm. <coughs> that was spicy. <laughs> Well, that's one way to finish a chaat thali. Well, I didn't have it alone. I'm here with two of my friends. And if you guys want to come down here, do get your friends along and have a delicious chaat thali. The good thing about this chaat thali was most of these ingredients and the items on the chaat thali are freshly prepared here, right here at the restaurant. So we're done with the chaat thali. And as you know, it's the festival of Holi and the festival of colors. We have special colorful pani puri thanks mr melvin oh look at that does that have tequila in it <laughs> no <laughs> i wish after the lens after the lens oh just look at that that looks so beautiful and i think we can all do with some colors in our life so my tequila i mean my pani puri shots are ready and it's so pretty. I don't know which color should I choose first. Well, my favorite color seems to be blue. So I'm going to go and attack this one first. Cheers. Salute. So we're going to pour the mixture in and oops, it's dripping. I'm going to put some of them. Okay, let's go. Let's do it this way. I'm going to put some more. This looks like some kamikaze shot. Anyway, cheers guys. Mm. Happy holy guys. Yeah. Well. So one shot down. Next I'm gonna go with red. I think this is a beautiful way of doing it and celebrating the festival of holy. Here we go. Cheers guys. Mm. Okay, let's experiment now. I am gonna mix a bit of everything. So that goes in. You go here. Hmm. Some bit of yellow. I think that's brown. That's brown. I have no idea what you call this color. Now uh, let's go back to the blue. And some red. I hope this doesn't make me high. Mm. Well, I had a great time here at the restaurant Baitreen Zaika. And I think I'm high, not on tequila, but certainly on the Pani Puri shots. Well, if you guys want to come down here, please do. You, trust me, you're going to have a great time here. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.